Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no All right, y'all, you've been patiently waiting, and now the time has come. I'm finally talking about Does Spencer Love Olivia More? All right, I'm not even going to lie. What took me so long to release this video, because as y'all know, I've been talking about it for at least a month, maybe a month and a half, probably. What took me so long is y'all, like, well, not everybody, but, like, a good amount of people in the com in the comment section in our community Y'all stand, y'all stand on the Olivia moment, you stand for Olivia, and y'all aren't always as receptive to hearing the truth <laughs> when it comes to her. And this is not everybody, but to those that apply, if the shoe fits weird, otherwise keep it moving. But I really shot away from releasing this video just because I didn't want to deal with all of the backlash and hate that comes. Like sometimes they, people kick a lot of smoke my way behind my opinions. And for the most part, I'm getting a lot better with thickening up my skin but I was just like yeah I'm not gonna release it because I'm not gonna walk into that negativity but now that we've seen episode nine y'all have gotten to see her actually apologize and be accountable which is the one thing that we have yet to see from her now I think you have a better perspective and can actually receive this conversation in a better in a best place um, because before there wasn't enough context like we didn't get enough information on Liv's backstory we didn't give enough get enough in depth knowledge in reference to what she could be thinking and feeling in certain moments and I was making a lot of assumptions as well as you guys were making a lot of assumptions and I really just felt like releasing that video before it would not have went over well and not just like me worrying about the negativity but people also have to be in a good place to receive things right like i'm not just out here talking for my health like i'm actually trying to have conversations with y'all but if you're stuck in a place where you really can't receive what's being said then maybe it's not the right time for somebody to say it but now was the right time so in this video i'm going to talk about all of spencer and olivia's interactions in season three and i'm going to jump back into the past in season ones and twos just a little bit if you missed it we actually did a live rewatch party during the hiatus every saturday night and it was absolutely fun it was so amazing i love connecting with you guys chatting with you guys commenting on the show with you guys and that definitely provided additional perspective so if you haven't already go back and re start to rewatch all american i promise you that it hits different when you watch now knowing where they are and you have a little bit of understanding and sometimes you get to see like the payoff of some of the seeds that were planted before and the short answer for this question because this is how I have felt my feelings have not changed since episode 9 but um, again I have a little bit more of Olivia's perspective so I have that to be able to prove y'all know I like to give y'all proof behind the things that I think or why reasoning why I think that the way that I do and the answer is yes I do think that Spencer loves Olivia more and that was on full display for me in episode 9 now, before I jump into the nitty gritty of that answer to that question, I also want to be very clear because some of y'all also like to read what you think I said and respond to that instead of responding to what I actually said. Um, I'm not saying that Olivia does not love Spencer. I'm not saying that Olivia does not love Spencer immensely. I'm not saying that Olivia doesn't love Spencer the most that she has ever loved anybody because I do think that she loves him to a certain point that she has never loved anybody else before. I definitely believe that. But when I say does he love her more, I think that Spencer has a greater capacity to love. He has a better grasp on love, a better understanding of love. And it's also coming from a place of he's not perfect at it. But he comes from a place of loving himself and being able to find value in himself. And Olivia does not, in my opinion, love from that place. She does not have self-love and she does not necessarily value herself enough to be at the same level of giving love from the same place that Spencer gives love. I know that has been part of the conversation in the comment section because a lot of people are just like, well, Spencer is just so much more expressive than Olivia. He's he just shows his love so much more. But that doesn't mean that he actually loves her more. I'm not saying it's about how you show it. I'm just saying in reference to me being able to gauge it, even if Spencer did not show it as, you know, verbosely as he does. 
I still would, in looking at the people that they are, I still would assess that Spencer has a greater capacity to love based on how he handles himself and how he handles um, other people. But mostly because of how he handles him, how, how he handles himself and the decisions that he he makes. And if y'all don't know by now or haven't seen episode nine, Olivia makes very questionable decisions that really call into question: Does she love herself, and does she really love the people around her that she says she does? Because the stuff that she does doesn't actually line up and show love. Now that doesn't mean that she doesn't love them, y'all. I'm just saying that some of the things that she does makes you want to question it. And yes, a big part of that is tied to her addiction. Okay, so this question came up for me when y'all, I feel like y'all are going to think that it came up for me after we saw Vegas, but the question actually came up for me before that. When I watched Spencer this season and he was so much more subdued and calm and quiet and just kind of recluse, but still like trying to interact with Olivia and specifically I can't remember the episode number off the top of my head right now but specifically when they run into each other at that coffee shop that they love to all be at and hang out at and he's talking about dancing and she's talking about dancing and you could just tell that he's longing for his friend back because they have been like two ships in a night missing each other all season and you could tell that Olivia had been avoiding him that is when I started to think like dang like Spencer really does love this girl And of course, by then, I think this is around episode three or four, by then you can't tell what is going on with Olivia or why she's running. All we know is that she's running. And it was just clear to me that he really, really does love her and desire her from a different place because of how he was moving, even with all his feelings. Like now we know Vegas happened and she ran out on him and all this other kind of stuff. Like even with all of those feelings, he was still navigating from a very controlled place with a goal in mind of like getting back to what they were and to me that says a lot because when you think about it we're watching Olivia this season and we didn't get to see her over the summer but we're seeing her spiral we still don't know why and I I meant to take a screenshot of this comment so I'm so sorry that I'm not going to be able to put your comment on the screen right now but a comment uh, a subby commented that we still don't know why she started drinking and that's so true but even the fact that she started drinking is like she takes situations of when she feels alone or when she feels stressed and she reverts to like substances or she reverts to a place of like trying to ignore her issues and throw herself into other people's problems and even that is kind of like a response of like devoid of love I don't know if I'm making sense but to me like an example to put them two together or next to each other Spencer responded to the rejection and to the dismissal and to his sadness by trying to get back to normal and doing things giving love I know the thing with Layla was not right but he definitely tried to be in that and do what he knew for a person that he actually loved try to still show up for Olivia and go back to normal because he didn't have any context in reference to what it meant for her after the confession so he says in the car crash like before the car crash that he didn't know how she felt he didn't know what that meant when she just didn't say anything so he takes that and just he doesn't use it as an opportunity to go to a negative place or to treat her differently or to treat her badly but he still tries to show up for her he still tries to reconnect with her even like from the very top of the season episode one of the season y'all he's on a bus with Chris dragging him to Beverly Hills to an event that Olivia did not even tell him about but he wants to be there for her and so my thing is like Spencer channels his energy in that way from a place of love because he has such a big capacity for love and Olivia channels negative emotions or situations into self-destructive behaviors and self-destructive um decisions does that make sense take a second drop down in the comment section below and tell me if what i just said makes sense because i feel like i said a lot and i didn't explain it clearly and i want to explain it clearly all right y'all we're almost through the video if you haven't already and you're new here be sure to hit subscribe because i make all american videos and post them every single day 
episode breakdown, synopsis breakdowns, predictions, as well as in-depth character breakdowns like this one. And you should join the tribe by hitting subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, follow me on social media at ericavane.com. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and would love to connect and continue the conversation there. Okay, and now I want to talk about another factor of love when it comes to Spencer and Olivia, and it's outside of them. So when I think about who loves who more, or when I think about Olivia's capacity for love and Spencer's capacity for love, I also think about their parents. I think about how you are taught love. Spencer has been taught love by Grace a lot differently than how Olivia has been taught love by Laura and Billy. And let me explain. Spencer does not come from a place of privilege. He does not come from a place of money and excess and wealth. He comes from the hood, Crenshaw. And he had a father who was out of the home after he turned about seven years old. So he was living with a single mother and his brother. And Grace does the best that she can to get by, but she is not by any means well off or 100% financially stable when we first meet them if y'all remember in the pilot episode so that's season one episode one electricity is cut off so that they can't heat the water so they have to take cold showers and that's something that happens regularly for the James family so and Grace talks about how she's going to pay the bill on whatever day that's coming up in the near future it'll be fine so I say all this to say it is different when you're growing up in a in a in a poor home or you're growing up in a home that does not necessarily have everything that they need um and it's different because the family starts to form around other things and the only thing that grace has in abundance to give to her children is love is sacrifice is loyalty is just a grounded sense of family so she doesn't have a lot of money they don't have a lot of stuff but she can give them an overwhelming amount of love and I think that that sets the groundwork for how Spencer is able to love because he has been given love in this way he has been given love from a place of advice and um interaction and talking and open dialogue and you know being able to come to your mother and trust your mother in all of these non-tangible things that love can manifest itself in and to me again that sets Spencer up to be able to love from a very deep and honest capacity in a different way because he doesn't have money to be able to give gifts and show love or you know give money and show love he gives love by giving up his time by giving up his mind by giving up himself the same way that grace has shown him love by doing those things I hope that makes sense. And Olivia, on the other hand, Olivia and Jordan, because they have grown up with such privilege, because they have grown up well off, they don't know of what life looks like without money. They don't know what life looks like outside of Beverly Hills, aside from what they have seen and been exposed to now that Spence is a part of their lives. Um, I feel like, yes, Laura and Billy love their children. And I'm not saying that Laura and Billy don't teach them their children love, but they teach their children love with the combination of love and material things. So buying them things is the way that they show them love. And to me, that that can kind of set you up for failure a little bit because material things and money comes and goes. If you don't build a strong enough connection where your child can talk to you, where your child feels like they can rely on you, where your child really understands the true unconditional love and that you have their utmost best interest at heart at all times not grounded in a thing like a thing that they can physically receive so money or a gift or car or whatever but just grounded in the essence of your being um then I feel like it sets it up for failure because things can be taken away right like Yes, your presence can be taken away, but if you're always around and you build a space where your child knows that you love them because they, because you are around, then it's a less likely for them to um, develop this kind of like negative relationship. And I know I'm going super meta and psychological right now with this, so I'm not trying to get too deep with it, y'all, but it's less likely for them to create this negative association with love and manipulating love in a way where, you know, give and take away if it's not grounded in money or a gift or things that come and go very freely but if it's grounded in presence if it's grounded in attention if it's grounded in actual um 
dialogue and consistency of the actual being then they're less likely because you can't move a person as easily as you can move money or move a gift i hope that makes sense if it doesn't ask me a question down in the comment section below or post a comment i really want to know what y'all think in reference to this um like I said, this is the right time to have the conversation. So I'm really, really excited to, even if you don't agree, I'm really excited to see what your counterpoints are and like we fully discuss it because I think that this is a really great thing. And that's one of the things that I really love about this show is how they are kind of like prompting these types of conversations on various levels because they have so many different characters going through different things. So to summarize specifically about the parents, I think that Spencer has been set up to love more deeply and Olivia hasn't. And she's just learned that now that her world has been exposed to other things and it's growing and she's getting outside of her Beverly Hills bubble so again it's not even just on Olivia that she doesn't or cannot love him more it's just that she hasn't been equipped yet and she's on her way to doing that now I think that her going to new NA and getting a new sponsor and all of what we have seen transpire is all helping her develop a, a new way a deeper way to love a truer way to love and I'm excited to see it and the last thing I kind of want to talk about in this video is that Olivia up until episode 9 looked at love in some parts as obligation and placed expectations on it and to me that was shown on full display in episode 9 because her statement to Spencer is I thought that you said that you love me basically implying that if he didn't go with her in that moment when she asked then he really didn't love her and it gave more insight into Olivia's capacity of love and level of understanding around love now don't get me wrong I think it was Monda, but I could be wrong like I remember us having a conversation but I don't remember who it actually was in the comment section but they started a conversation around Spencer's confession in Vegas and how he should have given her time to respond and in that moment he was selfish because he had an expectation of her of her to respond but in the car before the car crash we learned that he didn't know what her non-response meant and we saw regardless of his response he still wanted his friend even though he was hurt which again to me shows that Spencer is at a different level of understanding and acceptance of love and there have been random conversations around conditional love and to me this shows unconditional love of Spencer for her and the conditional love of Olivia with her giving an ultimatum in that moment now she realizes when Spencer pushes back and says no that that isn't correct and she shouldn't you know be operating in that way and she starts to think back on all of the other things that had happened but again for me in that moment that affirms that Olivia has a ways to go in order to be able to meet Spencer where he's already at when it comes to love and no he is not perfect by way of love because Spencer can be jealous and he has been controlled in the past but he is learning and growing through this and it looks to me like Olivia is doing the same kind of following his same path a lot of Spencer's romantic maturity came with his relationship with Layla and her pushing back and checking him on his bullshit and now Olivia will grow and mature in love with Spencer learning and deciding to say no and push back to her as well so I think that they are on the same path I think that Olivia is just a little bit behind and she has some catching up to do because she wasn't given the same stuff that Spencer was given to start with but the fact that they are in love with each other and Spencer is learning boundaries and to say no I think that she will definitely start to come along in reference to being able to love at a deeper capacity in addition to his him saying no and setting up boundaries she now has nurse joy her family is starting to figure it out so hopefully Billy and Laura can really start to provide love in the way that their children need and not just in a way that they think will make them like them because I think that that's a huge problem that set all of them up for failure like all of the bakers are set up for failure because they are all trying to figure out and do things that's going to make them the most liked and not make them the best people but that's a whole other conversation for a whole other video and now it's your turn jump down into the comment section and let me know what you think about my video let me know what you think about what I said do you think that Spencer loves Olivia more tell me all of that and some in the comment section down below again I'm Erica Vane if you're new here I post new all-american videos every day you should really join the tribe by being subscribed I promise you are going to love it here we have such amazing dialogue and we have built a really amazing community that I'm 
absolutely obsessed with and I know that you're going to be obsessed with as well. If you made it to the end of this video and I know it's a long one, give me four heart emojis to let me know that you have made it to the end of the video. You are a real one and I got to show you some extra special real love. If you missed it, I broke down the rest of season three with all of the titles that we know. We also have a page on our website that gives you a list. If you ever have any questions and you want to know, you can go to the link in my description box and go to the website and see the list of all of the episodes for the rest of season three. There will be 19 as well as the date they will premiere because you know your girl Erica Bang got you. And if you missed any of my videos up until now on All American, you can check out my playlist right here. If you're looking for something new to watch, I got two suggestions for you right here. I'll see you in my next amazing All American video. Bye. How come the stars don't shine when it's day? How come the sky at night makes me this way?